Got your man spinning out. And then what the f Wait, why did he hit the brakes? Whoa! What even was that? Welcome to Hogan Racing, guys. We're looking at some street dirt today. Are you ready, kids? Let's do this. Oh god, I already don't like this. No! No! It was a mint R34 with. Oh, it's Tacoma. Things hard. No, not anymore. Oh shit. Whose man's is this? Whoa! You guys, that is why, like, you have to be careful around curves. It's no joke, especially a sharp curve like that. Just, you shouldn't, why am I even saying be careful? Just don't be street tripping. He's just still driving on it. Okay, I'm telling you guys, BMW is coming for the title. This is another BMW. Where's it going? Wait, hold on. Where the f did he go? Oh, what do we do? What even was that? What even was that? Hold on a second. There's so much going on here. Okay, so this is freaking 350Z. He like initiates right next to his car. Yeah, he freaking smokes that car. And then just destroys it. Oh my God. <laughs> that guy, that boy. I mean, he deserved that. This is bad news. Okay. This poor Ventador. Dude, come on. You suck. That pisses me off. I love Aventadors. Got another BMW, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That was pretty anticlimactic. <laughs> it is going so slow. <laughs> okay, are you guys noticing? Hold on, let me pause. Are you guys noticing a theme? 350Zs, Mustangs, and BMWs. I guess we did have one Skyline. No, we had two Skylines. But the one, he just got hit. I. Corvettes, you don't notice Corvettes messing up that much. I feel like the drivers think they're supercars. It's like, it's the typical blue jean shorts, the high socks, and the tucked in like polo shirt or some type of like, I'm a Corvette owner, some, some kind of t-shirt like that. Oh, and a dad hat, of course. What? Holy crap, he freaking flipped over. I was like, all I heard was sounds. Okay, my favorite is when they just go off into the abyss. <laughs> like, I, I love it. You know what? I'm not even gonna hate on this guy because he's at a drift event and it happens. All right, so there's no way we do this video without checking out some street takeovers because that is just full of idiots. Holy shit! As I say that, what the f The Mustang just... How are you killing people? Wait, why didn't he hit the brakes? Nice bro. If you're a man, there's three pedals. And if you're pussy, then there's only two pedals, but it's always that one that's kind of centered up. You just hit that, it stops your car. It's real easy. It's so funny. Okay, every time after someone crashes into something, like everyone just starts <laughs> attacking the car. <laughs> What the fuck? Hold on, those <laughs> mans! Why is he wall riding a crowd of people? <laughs> this is. <it. laughs> Shut up, Miata gang. <laughs> Aaron, there's a Miata at the street takeover to get crashed into. <laughs> hey man, we don't claim him. Comp below our Miata is gonna be the next, <laughs> the next fail cars. Okay, so this is why, like, just a little PSA, this is why street takeovers are so stupid. This is basically like a never-ending video of street takeover fails. Like, it's every event. Someone crashes into someone else, hurts someone. Like, this shit should just not exist. That's something that's so funny is there's more, there's more street takeover fail videos than there are just street takeover videos. Yeah, there's no, like, street over win videos, like, the best street takeovers of all time. It just fails. 
Oh, oh god. <laughs> Another Mustang. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> that, like, oh, it's so bad. It, it goes from like zero to 100. Like, when you roll over a car, like, I mean, this is obvious. It's an obvious statement, but just think about it. Like, if you were to just spin out and not roll over, not that bad. But once you roll over, like, cosmetically at least, that car is up. I just want to know where some of these guys get off. Like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he lifts up the SUV. Alright, what the hell is this? Oh, the Supra! Into the house! No! God damn it. I literally felt like one of those kids that flips out when he sees a Supra, too. I'm, I'm so bad. Oh, holy shit! Off into the abyss! Oh my god! My man's just got his back broken. Hold on, you guys. Oh! Aaron, you gotta insert that meme where, like, it does the thing where they go into space and they're just like, doo -doo -doo, and they go on this, like, whole little trip. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have here? <laughs> it, it, I, there's a, such a theme with street takeovers. There's always like the one homie on the side. Oh my god! His pants came off! <laughs> His pants came off! This could be the most ridiculous one I've seen yet. <laughs> I, I, that's, that is one of the most outrageous clips I have ever seen. His pants came off. All right, we're gonna end it with one clip. Aaron wanted, this is like an honorable mention. This is local to us at the Pavilions Car Show. I'm just gonna let the video speak for itself. Got your man spinning out, and then what the f Oh my God! I, I, I've seen this clip before, but it's outrageous. Hold on a second. Look at, dude, this guy is just, oh my God. He was flying! Yeah, that video doesn't even need any explanation. Nobody's safe, not even Arizona. All right guys, I, th this video is just, this was one of the more fun videos. <laughs> what do you guys wanna see me react to next? This one was absolutely outrageous. Comment below, let me know. And guys, if you wanna support our channel, progenracing.com, check out all our merch, and watch our vlogs. We just made a massive announcement last week boys are going to Japan. So go check that out. We'll see you guys in a couple days. Peace.